Yo, what is up guys? Dale Boy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So as we know, this week Sergei Kovalev failed a VADA test where he tested positive for synthetic testosterone. As a result, his January 30th clash with Bektomir Melikuziev was in doubt. It has now been confirmed that the fight has been officially cancelled and the whole show in general has been cancelled. So Bektomir Melikuziev, regardless of Sergei Kovalev, is not fighting on January 30th. So that's a big shame as far as I'm concerned. Selfishly, it's a shame for me as a boxing fan. I was very much looking forward to seeing Bektomir Melikuziev fight Sergei Kovalev. When that fight got announced, I couldn't believe it. I was genuinely so excited, and part of me felt that it was too good to be true. And here we are, a few weeks later, the fight is now officially cancelled due to Sergei Kovalev failing a PED test. So of course, I'm bitterly disappointed as a boxing fan, and also, you know, thoughts go out to Bektomir Melikuziev. This was his big step up in only his seventh fight. He was looking to make a name for himself, and obviously now that's no longer going to be the case. Also, the fact that he's had a training camp with no reward at the end of it. It must be devastating to train weeks on end, and then a couple of weeks outside of a fight, the fight gets cancelled. So yeah, commiserations go to Bektomir Melikuziev. Hopefully, he's back in action as soon as possible. And by the way, it's worth saying as well, Bektomir Melikuziev was actually willing to fight Sergei Kovalev regardless of the PED test. So he was still down to go, but obviously this fight has now been cancelled. So, you know, but it is what it is. It's a big shame as far as I'm concerned. Hopefully, we see Bektomir Melikuziev back in the ring real soon. The guy's a brilliant prospect, and I'm intrigued to see where he goes next. The fact that he was willing to fight Sergei Kovalev lends me to believe that he would take another massive step up against somebody else. So hopefully they can get that sorted. And we'll see where Bektami Melikuziev goes from here. Also, it's going to be interesting to see what weight division Bektami Melikuziev fights at. Because, you know, he was basically a super midweight prospect. And he was taking the Sergei Kovalev fight at £178. Is this guy going to campaign at light heavyweight or super middleweight? It'll be interesting to see what division he actually fights in when he comes back. But, you know, for me, the main thing is that we see this guy in the ring as soon as possible. And hopefully he remains active throughout 2021. Yeah, uh, really, really disappointing news. Like I said, when that fight got announced, I was so excited. But like I said, I had that nagging doubt. Part of me felt that it was too good to be true. And, you know, that's turned out to be the case, unfortunately. But yeah, like I said, we'll see what happens next. Hopefully Melikuzia fights again soon. As for Sergei Kovalev, God only knows where his future lies in boxing right now because... He's lost numerous fights now, been knocked out a few times, been getting out of trouble outside the ring, and now obviously he's failed a PED test. So where Sergei Kovalev goes from here, God only knows. But there we go. Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.